Agent King. Uh, we are here to uh, enact the amazing hypnotist mission. Ladies and gentlemen, a free hypnotism show starting in only two minutes. Sir, are you ready for the show? It'll be free of charge right here. I'm Ken Peach. And, uh, I was the first one to get hypnotized today. And I noticed that the crowd seemed to pick up as soon as the hypnotism started happening. Relax, be deep. When Ken hears me say a certain code word, he is going to believe that he is an ostrich. Do you believe that, Ken? Ken, yellow. <laughs> yellow. How about a big hand for Ken? Hi, I'm Brooke Fan, and um, I was hypnotized to fall in love with my actual boyfriend, Charles, but away from my fake boyfriend, Max. I'm Charles. I played a volunteer, got hypnotized to fall in love with my actual girlfriend, which wasn't very hard. So. Okay, what is your name now? Brooke Sam. Brooke Sam. That's right, Brooke Sam. Okay. Are you single? Um, no, boyfriend. You have a boyfriend, and he's right there. Yeah. Now, would you say that you could ever fall in love with anyone else? No? Yeah. All right. Yeah. How about you? Are you single for that? No, I love money. Yeah. Right back there. Oh, your girlfriend's here. What is your name, man? Don't be shy. What is your name? Kate. I'm Kate, and I was the girlfriend of Charles. He decided to be hypnotized, and I was embarrassed. Today, the amazing hypnotist is going to see if the power of hypnosis is stronger than the power of love. In just a few moments, he is going to hypnotize Charles to falling in love so I go out there, we do the whole hypnotizing bit. Charles, Roxanne, pink. <laughs> I got visibly upset. And people were really on my side and like, you know, come on, girl, you don't have to take this, like, this is wrong, stop this. Pink. <laughs> Another hand for Charles and Brooke Sand. I'm just going to stay over here for a second. You guys out here for the show's finale in a few minutes. Um, Dan Berman, I played the part of Dan from Atlanta. I was hypnotized to believe that I was in the desert and I was in dire need of water. I probably drank about a gallon's worth of liquid within a five minute period. <laughs> Blue. How about a big hand for Dan? <laughs> Hello, I'm John Gimberling. I was playing the person who was hypnotized to the stripper. When Anthony was hypnotizing me, uh, I guess somebody was listening in, and so he had to kind of bolster up his spiel to actually make it sound real. And at one point, he was like, are you calm? All right, I'm going to come inside you. <laughs> I didn't know if he was trying to make me laugh or what, or if he's just being weird. John? Green. <laughs> Ten. Yellow. Dan, blue. Charles, for Sam. Pink. We tried to pick the point where, kind of the breaking point where we knew if we stayed any longer, people were going to start getting you know, mad at us or demanding an explanation. Uh, so right when Charles and Brooksanne were beginning to really kiss, and right when John was taking his pants off, uh, we chose to leave. This guy is really upset. We were pretty uh, sure that he was going to be chasing us down the street, so we ran for about three or four blocks uh, without stopping. Where's the hypnotist? He ran away? Good move. Alright, I'm Dan. Uh, I field produced the shoot, and I was also holding uh, the B camera. Anthony and Charlie run away, and so they leave everyone hypnotized in the park, and that's when 
people really started reacting. People were running around. One guy was saying he was going to call the cops. Were you, were you, were you with them? What? Were you with them? Did you hurt me this? Were you no. with them? No. Because if you were, I'm dead serious. We're going to have a real problem. I have a lot of friends that are cops, and I will call one right now if you really want it. Because you just broke up a goddamn couple. So if you're with them, tell me right now. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, come on. The one lady, the guy with striped shirt, came up to us and they were yelling, ping, 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 ping. Like trying to make sure that we would like snap out, but we were just kind of like, I gotta go, all you crazy people. Like, I gotta go make out with this guy. Call me off, brother. This one guy came up to us. He's like, don't you know you have um, another boyfriend and another girlfriend, and uh, and you guys are hypnotized. And so then we just started being like. Whoa, like, sorry we offended you by making out on the bench, but you don't have to be crazy. Like, we gotta go. So we were just kind of, like, walking away, and he was, like, yelling at us, like, hey, whatever, you think I'm a crazy New Yorker? Well, you guys are hypnotized. At some point when I ran out of the liquids that they were supplying, uh, I started asking the audience for drinks. And, uh, <laughs> somebody had an ice cream, and I ran over to the crowd, and I... I asked for the ice cream. The guy was trying to hold it away from me, you know, making me dance and beg after it. And the people all around were saying, just give him the ice cream! Just give him the ice cream! Once it really got started, people reacted really passionately to what was going on. We never told anyone in the park that it was uh, a prank or that it was a performance. So we just sort of left them there to figure out uh, what was happening. I ran as fast as I could possibly run. Absolutely away from the park, never looking back, terrified the entire time that the crazy guy with the striped shirt was right behind me looking to report me to the police. Um, but we got away safe and met back at the meeting point, and it was a big success overall.